Hello, it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the video and welcome to Heaven and Hell, created by Lipakak. Now, this was created on a PS4 and this has got to be one of the most unique ideas I've ever seen for a theme park. It's really, really different from most things that we've seen on the channel in the past. Now, short sweet description for this park it literally just says explore heaven and hell from a theme park experience so literally the tiniest description ever now if you do enjoy this type of content make sure to leave a like and subscribe and a comment as it really does help that juicy algorithm and allow me to continue making these videos for you guys as well but without further ado let's hop in and have a look around shall we right so here we are we've just come out of the entrance tunnel now what I thought I would do, Lipkak, whilst I'm doing your spotlight, is I'm going to have the bottom half, so hell, almost at night time or dusk or something like that, just to give it a little bit more of a dark glow. And then when we get up to heaven, I'll then turn it to day. So hopefully kind of like that builds the immersion a little bit more. But this is... That was bizarre. Oh, that was unique. And look, we've got... Hang on, we've got a coaster. Oh, wow, look at that. We've got a coaster that comes out as well. Now, can we be lucky and actually see a coaster come up at the same time? Come on, coaster. Come on. We don't have all day to wait. Don't be rude. Oh, I can hear it. <gasps> there we go. Oh, that is cool. Yep, I like that. Right, we've got a water feature just as we walk in. I am happy instantly. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of not sure what the vibes are with the hell down here, if I'm honest. it's it. If anything, it looks quite nice. <laughs> it looks quite tranquil. Uh, we've, got, we've got like kind of the water feature. We've got all the plants. It, it's beautiful down here, I'm not going to lie. Where's the fire and brimstone? Where's the death and destruction and all the lava and fire and demons and ghosts and things like that? I'm just, I'm just not getting a very hell-type vibe, if I'm honest. I mean, when we get up to heaven later on, that that's really good. That, like, really some beautiful architecture up there and some really nice theming up there. And it really does feel like heaven. But I'm just, I'm just not getting a sense of hell from down here. If I'm honest, it, it's too nice. It, it's quite good. Ooh, coaster. Oh, that was cool. That was good timing. Now, that is the stairway to heaven. Literally and figuratively, that is the stairway to heaven. So, let's just carry on walking around here. Now, we have got a coaster or two to go on whilst we are down here. I'm not sure if it's one coaster or two. Hang on. I'm going to do my usual. Ooh! Oh, oh, there's a Tower of Terror in there. Hang on. Um, no, that's the Stairway to Heaven. Right, so how do we... How do we get... Um, right, okay, I will find it. I will find it, but there is a Tower of Terror inside of here. Now, I'm not sure if that's the in-game one or not if i'm being honest where is the queue where's the queue for this ride ah there okay never mind i found it found it guys don't worry right okay so let's go for a ride on a tower of terror don't get to go on these very often so enjoy everybody
Now, whilst that was very, very unfitting with the theme of the park being held, you've got the zombie apocalypse, maybe it was a little bit disappointing to see that it was the in-game one that had been used, so none of them scenes were made by yourself, they were all pre-made like by the in-game one, but it fit the theme of what it was you were going for, very much the hell theme, so I guess for that aspect, yep, yeah, nice work. So, right, let's come out of here. Now we've had the zombie apocalypse. It's more like the walking dead now. So I believe a lot of this is in-game buildings as well, I believe. But we do have... Now, is it one or two coasters in here? So, oh, wow. Oh, this looks cool. So I believe it's two coasters that are down. There's an exit. So if we carry on walking down here... Oh, this looks really cool. I like how you've put this building around the ride. That is fantastic. Right, let's have a walk up the queue path then. So what's actually... I, I'm sorry, I need to go and have a look what's up here first. Curiosity is getting the better of me. Right, this is now feeling a little bit more like hell. So you've got some fire... Just coming up there and the red smoke and everything. Or is that just red tinted glass? I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on. I just saw red and assumed it was fire. I don't think it is. I think it might just be that the glass is coloured red. And then it's the reflections on it. Ah, right, okay. So we've got some food and drink just up here. And watch the coaster just go off all around you. At the same time as you're sitting eating. Oh, that was good timing look at that and then there's another coaster as well that comes through as well so you've got the two different coasters here now do we have to wait long to see this one come down probably not hopefully so there's going to be one that comes down here as well come on coaster come on man. doing lots of waiting today there we go Oh, that is cool. Oh, there the other goes the other coaster as well. Yeah, very nicely done. Right, so we've got food and drink there. We've got this seating area that just comes out over here. What's going on with the lighting? Night time. Daytime. Night time. Daytime. Very strange. Um, right, so we've got the coaster that's off over there. Oh, look at that for a shot. Wow. Just got the top hat of the coaster over there. Look at Matty learning all these technical terms. It's only taking me 200 spotlights, and I'm slowly, I'm slowly getting there with the terminology for coasters, all right? I mean, don't be expecting kind of like Michael levels of knowledge or anything like that yet, but I'm getting there, all right? Be impressed. All right, let's come down here. Let's go on this coaster. I think it is. I think I, I need to, I need to check. No, because that's the, the windows. Why? So why? What's with the red tint? Why is that? That is really bizarre. But it works for what it is you're doing. So yeah, that that's very weird. Right, let's come down here. And let's walk up the queue. Oh, I can't even see where I'm going. Right, move out the way, peasants. Love the interactiveness of this. It's so good. This is fantastic to have the queue just winding around the coaster. You can see it at all times. You just, here you go. You just watch it. Just come up here. Highway to hell. I'm on a highway to hell. Right. And there you go, we made it. We made it. Right, so are stats going to matter? Probably not too much, to be honest. I don't believe it's that type of coaster, but we'll have a look. Oh, wow! Green across the board. The max vertical G may be slightly high, but as I was saying... I mean, to be honest, that's probably a good thing, actually. You're probably wanting to kill the guests. So, for that aspect, yeah. 
It's realistic. You're trying to maim and injure your guests. So there you go. Let's go for a ride. Enjoy, everybody. I've got it. I've got it. So, before I started filming the spotlight, I spent probably a good 20 minutes or so, half an hour, just trying to get the cinematic shots for the park, trying to get the thumbnail for the video, and as I was doing it, and as I was seeing then when I very first started recording, I wasn't getting why this was hell. I didn't get... Hey, time! Hey, time. I didn't get why why that was heaven and why this was hell i had absolutely no idea that any of that was below ground i i don't even know how you access it other than down here yeah no clue about any of this so you've actually built hell all underneath so it's actually heaven earth and hell so you've actually got like kind of the middle bit that is earth i've got it now i, I wasn't getting that before so yeah um as for the ride itself obviously we need to address the elephant in the room the brake runs not the brake runs i'm sorry the block sections massively needed addressing you were sitting bearing in mind i'd sped it up and we were still sat there for a good eight nine ten seconds and that was on times three speed the fact that that's still green across the board despite that i don't even know how you've done that that's super impressive how you've managed to get that green across the board despite the fact of how long it's sitting there waiting it, it's not gone for realism so like the idea of smoothing and things like that seem a little bit irrelevant to be honest it's not that type of ride it's not that type of coaster so i believe just address your block sections so you're not sitting waiting for ages and and that's about it but yeah other than that absolutely fantastic i love the idea behind this how it comes all underground and goes into hell itself so yeah great job and i didn't get myself lost there you go 
Well done, mate. I'm, I'm happy with myself. That... That isn't even... That's a different ride. Oh, okay. I was following the wrong track. Okay, so we have two rides that go underneath there. So, there you go. Right, so... Um, and, the, and the way that you've wrapped it all around... Around, inside here, inside this building. That's fantastic. Really, really nice job with that. It's such a confined, restricted area. And you've made it work really well. So, yeah, great job. Very impressed with that. So, let's walk out the exit. The lighting is going nuts down here. It's just kind of like glitching all over the place. It, it's so weird. Look, what is that all about? So strange. Right, anyway. Let's come down to this other coaster down here. And then we'll walk up the stairway to heaven. So, let's come in here. Da, 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 da. Nice long queue path. Very long queue path, in fact. What's going on in the queue path, actually? As well, stop saying queue path, mate. You know when you keep saying the word and it just kind of like loses all meaning? Queue path. And then you start like kind of thinking, am I saying it wrong? Because it just doesn't sound right when you say it, queue path. It just sounds stupid now. But anyway, <laughs> we've got to the coaster. What's this one called? Need for Speed. That, I mean, that makes sense. Again, green across the board. Again, them G-Force is slightly high, but it doesn't matter. So let's go for a ride on this one. Enjoy, everyone. I really enjoyed that coaster. I think that was absolutely fantastic. It did have some moments throughout the ride where it did require a little bit of smoothing, uh, just at various different points throughout the ride. It maybe was a little bit on the long side, but I, very much with the first ride, I don't think you've really gone for ultra realism. With this, that's not what the park is. It's just about having a bit of a laugh with it, really, and just doing different things, which I really appreciate. The brake run maybe just could have been extended just ever so slightly, but yeah, other than that, really, really nice job. Now, just before we hop up the stairs to go up to heaven, let's just have a look and appreciate all the terrain forming that you've done around here as well. I mean, this is brilliant. You've done so much terrain forming. In fact, shall we actually swap it today now, just before we go up the stairs? Let's do it. Let's swap it today. Just so we can actually appreciate what you've actually done here. Yeah, loads of terraforming, loads of paint tool used, water all around here. Really beautiful, actually. Really nice. My my type of stuff, this. Just with all the terrain forming and the water. Yeah, great job. Right, so. I mean, look how different it looks when we come back over here as well. 
gives a really de different atmosphere on this side of the park when it's at day but right let's hop up the stairs and let's go up to heaven because I've been a good boy so I'm going to heaven right so are you ready for camera skills here look how far we've got to go up are you ready for this check out the mad skills in one in one right let's come out of here I love this heaven area up here feels very Greek mythology or something like that it's a really nice architectural style you've got here and it almost makes me want you to do this kind of style of park if I'm honest, maybe kind of like go for a Roman park or Greek park or something like that. I think I think you'd smash it, to be honest. I think you've really got an eye for this kind of detail. But right, let's come out of here and let's go. I'm saying going left. Is this a ride exit? Well, oh, it's both. Right, it's a ride entrance and a ride exit. So right, let's come down this queue path. I mean, look at this queue path. It's simple, but it nails it at the same time. Just with the pillars, the colouring that you've chosen as well. And then the fence, golden fence pieces. Really nice. Story of an angel. That's me. That's me up there. Angel Matty. I'm, I'm no angel. I am no angel, trust me. You might think I'm all really, really nice on these videos. You have no idea. I push, all, I push over old ladies in the shop and steal sweets from children. I'm going to hell. Right, so let's come up here. Oh, I was wondering what that was there. So maybe it looks like you might just have a little bit of an issue with the block sections once again, possibly on this ride. But we'll see. We'll see as we go on. Right, so what have we got here? So this is Gates of Heaven. So, not quite green across the board, but doesn't matter. G-Force is really nice, though. So, let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy, everyone. So far, that was the ride of the park. I think that was absolutely fantastic. The way you've put that together was really, really good. Super smooth from start to finish. Felt like the most realistic ride of the park yet so far. A type of ride that you would see in a theme park. Maybe not one that kind of like goes over the top of a cloud and looks down like kind of probably a couple of hundred meters maybe maybe not so much that aspect but the rest of it really really nicely done i thoroughly enjoyed that ride and one thing i have just noticed as well is we did actually miss a coaster over here just as we came in as well now we've actually got i think three coasters to go on up here as well so we've, we've got a, a couple of more rides still like yet to do as well so let's just have a look at fallen which i'd walked past just as we walked into heaven so let's have a look at this so he comes just around here well I like that just as the coaster just comes up over the top there as well
It may be nice to see this park with a little bit more in it once you get your hands on a PS5 as well. If you were maybe to just come back and maybe just do a little bit more detailing around as well. But anyway, let's have a look at Fallen. So, oh, Fallen Angel. Nice. So, not green across the board. Stats quite high on this one, but we'll go with it. So, let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy. Forget about the G-forces for a second. I think that was really, really good. I like the story that it told us. We weren't this just fallen angel falling from heaven down to earth and then into hell itself. I think that was really clever, to be honest. I think that was fantastic. Yeah, again, I really enjoyed it. So, again, a great job. So, right, so we've got this coaster left. And then we've got one of them, like, arm claw type rides. You can never remember what they're called. You'll, you'll know what I mean when you see it. I really should learn the name of it. I really should. So we've got more shops down here. We'll go on the coaster last, I think. We'll save that till the end. So let's have a look at Story of an Angel. In fact, no, we'll come back to that in a second. We'll just have a very quick look around here. So we've got the chair plane just in the clouds there. And then... This must just be... Oh, there's another flat ride just down here as well. Just hidden down there as well. So Not many people coming down to that because I think it's so far off the beaten path. Except for these guys who are proper running for it. They're like, we need to go on it. So, right, story of an angel. So, right, let's come down this queue path. Oh, this is a... Uh, oh, this is a bit of a windy queue path, this one. It's a long cube path as well. I'm not sure it needed to be this long. Right. See, one of them thingies. Them. What, what are they called? No, that's that's not it, mate. A motion robotic arm. It's not even open. There you go, it's open now. I, I opened it for you. You know what? I should probably just put it in test just for the just for the sense of the spotlight. But anyway. And um, just waffling on. So let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy everyone.
there was a lot to unpack in that ride. There was so much going on. You have got a very, very creative mind. Some really unique and original stuff that I've never seen before. Yeah, great job. Really, really nice. Great storytelling once again. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. I didn't like the bit where it went over the top here, though. Um, where, where, where even abouts was it? Like, here. I, I didn't like this bit, if I'm honest. But that's just because it was so high up. I haven't got a fear of heights. I've just got a fear of falling from them and hitting the ground. So, yeah, amazing. Right, so we have one final coaster to go on. This has been a lot longer spotlight than I originally anticipated when I did the overhead shot earlier on this morning. A lot longer spotlight than I originally anticipated. So, there's the ride exit. Let's come down here. Nice queue path again. We've got, we've got some don't die fencing there as well, just thinking of the safety for that one little bit. here right and um, what is this one called so we have battle of the gods so not quite green across the board but close enough g-force is really good though so final ride of the park let's do it enjoy everyone A great ride to finish the spotlight on. Yeah, really well put together once again. If I'm being honest, it felt maybe a little bit too long for my liking, if I'm honest. I think that could have even been reduced by half, to be honest. It felt like it went on just a, just a little bit too long. But I really like what you've done with some of the custom supporting using the pillars. As a custom support, I thought that was very clever. Now, how much of this is actually custom supported? Because as I was going around, I thought some of, some more it might be as well. Was this? No, that's not custom, is it? No. Okay. I, I thought maybe just some more of it was as well, but no, my mistake. But yeah, what a park this has been. It, it's taken a lot longer 
than I originally anticipated to spotlight, spotlight this. And if I'm being brutally honest, Lipkak, when I first looked at this park, I, I did have a little bit of trepidation before coming into it. I thought it was, I thought it was a lot more basic than what it eventually turned out to be. And I made an initial snap judgment, and I wasn't sure I was going to like this park. And as it turns out, I've actually been very pleasantly surprised and like this park a lot more than I thought I would. It was a lot clever cleverer than I originally anticipated. I had no idea that all hell was below the ground at all, so I was quite confused before I started wondering why this was hell and that was heaven. I, I just wasn't getting that at all. But yeah, I think you've, you've executed the idea really, really well. I think maybe all these lights here could be reduced because I don't think that they're really adding to anything, and that's destroying your percentage counter as well. There's just too much. I'd, I'd look at Game of all that. I just don't think they are needed. I don't believe that they really add anything to it, to be honest. If you wanted a white effect, maybe you can just do it with screens, or maybe just look at a different light or something. I just don't think that's needed is all. Um, and yeah, I think you get a better percentage back. Your coasters are really good. Maybe just a little bit of slight smoothing. Maybe just look at the brake run on some of them and your block sections as well. But other than that, great idea behind this park. Great execution of the idea as well. Yeah, really, really well done. I enjoyed this one more than I thought it was. So apologies that I made a snap judgment uh, before actually doing it because... When you get into the nitty gritty of this, it's actually very, very impressive what you have accomplished here. So yeah, well done. Let me know down below in the comments what you all think as well. Isn't this clever? Isn't this a good little park as well? It makes me really excited to see what you do next and it makes me excited for you to get a PlayStation 5 as well and see what you could do with that extra percentage as well. But yeah. Oh look, they actually go at the same time. Is that intentional? I don't know. But yeah. Great. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we go, we need to have a look at heaven at night as well, just to make sure. Ah, oh, there's, there's no real lighting up here. I probably could have done without doing that, to be honest. Ruined it. I've ruined the immersion at the very end. I'm sorry. But yeah, let me know down below anyway what you think. Thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Um, it really does help the algorithm and make sure that the video continues to keep getting pushed. The more likes, the more comments it gets. Even if it's just a thumbs up as a comment, it does still really help the algorithm and help push the video out and, and get a wider audience and continue to help me grow. So yeah, much appreciated if you could do that. But I'll be back in a couple of days for another Planet Coaster Spotlight. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you then. Bye, everybody!